As insurers, we've been working with the government for the last few years to try and get connected and autonomous vehicles on the road. And we're really excited about that prospect because we genuinely believe that they are going to be safer than human drivers and they're going to reduce accidents and genuinely save lives. But that's fully connected and autonomous vehicles. What we're seeing now are the advanced stages of driver assistance, ADAS systems, and ALKS, automatic lane keeping systems, are exactly that. They're really good driver assistance. Our concern is that they are described as automated driving, then what we're going to see is people taking chances that they shouldn't. If you're in a fully autonomous vehicle, then yes, you can completely disengage. But if you've got ALKS, all it can really do is stay in lane. And therefore, you as the driver need to be fully engaged so that you can take control at a moment's notice. If there's an accident, from an insurance perspective, you are still the driver. As I say, it's not an autonomous vehicle. It is driver assistance and then, therefore you are responsible. So you shouldn't be taking chances by disengaging uh, and putting your own life and other people's lives at risk.